Hey everybody, Sakani here. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to find the area bounded by x squared over 4 plus y squared over 9 is equal to 1 and above the x-axis. And I've also given you a little hint over here and this hint comes a lot in my YouTube shorts and in a future video I will also prove that how this is actually a valid integral formula. But for right now you just need to know that this is a valid integral formula and it will be helpful in solving this problem. So first things first I'm going to start to draw a graph. In order to draw it I'm going to first label the x and y intercepts and then I'm just going to draw it. I know in order to label the x intercepts y has to be 0. So if y is 0 x is equal to negative 2 and 2. And in order to find the y-intercepts, I know that x has to be 0, so y is just going to be equal to negative 3 and 3. And then we can connect these. Now it says to find the area above this curve and above the x-axis, so what we are finding is this part right over here. In order to find this part, we know integration is just the sum of infinitely many rectangles with a width of the x and a height of y. So we just need to find the value of y. So in order to find the value of y, we have to manipulate this equation a little bit. So I'm going to find the value of y from here. So I'm going to say y squared over 9 is equal to 1 minus x squared over 4. Just took the x squared over 4 to the other side. And from here, I'm just going to solve y. It's basically just some algebra. And the reason I put plus or minus over here is because if you take a square root, we have plus or minus. We don't really need to worry about that too much because this top part, this top part over here is actually going to be the positive of that. And this bottom part over here is going to be the negative of that. But we're not even concerned about the bottom part, so we're just going to use the positive part. Now we can set up our integral. One thing to note is that this area is going to be the exact same as this area because they're symmetrical. So as long as I find the area of this, then I can just multiply it by 2 and I have my final answer. So let's actually do that. So I'm going to say integration 0 to 2 because we're going from 0 to 2 of this part right over here. And then we do height times width, so y times dx. We know y is 3 over 2, square root 4 minus x squared, and then dx. And now I can multiply this by 2 so that we get the area of this whole thing. And I'm going to take the 3 over 2 out. And now I'm going to apply this formula over here. To apply this formula, I need to know the value of a. And from here, a is going to be a constant so a is going to be equal to 2 because this is basically a squared, so a has to be equal to 2. And now I'm going to substitute what I know on this side. And our final answer is 3 pi. 